Welcome back to another episode of the Wiley J. So today is Sunday. Um, I had an amazing day. Let me give it to my story. Like, so y'all come on in the room because I know it's going to take y'all time to text your girlfriends, your boyfriends, to text all your homegirls and your brothers and your sisters and your grannies and whomever. You know, I really, you know, had an amazing day today. I was um, out and about and I said, hey, I really want to go to church. So on yesterday, I went to um, Dress to Impress out in Massa, Illinois. And I wanted to get some, you know, some church clothes. So I asked my mom, I said, do y'all have a place where I can go get fitted for some church clothes and everything like that? She said, of course, we have um, Dress to Impress. It's about, you know, not too far. And I said, okay, let me go there. And so I went there and I saw Brother Don. As soon as I walked in the door, he said, hello, sir. I said, what, uh, what are you looking for? I said, I'm looking for uh, a dress shirt, uh, a bow tie, some pants, uh, because I'm going to church on Sunday. So we went there and we shopped and I got the, the shirt. Uh, and I got the, the tie, and my size is actually a 50 in waist, 34 in length. It used to be larger than that. I'm losing weight. Anyway, a 50 in length, 34, a 50 in waist, like 50 in waist, you know, and 34. So 50 slash 34, 50 slash 34. All right. So he got my size, and it felt wonderful. All right. I already had a belt. Got the shirt, got the bow tie. So I started telling him about my Wally show, and I went into the, the, the dressing room to dress. And I said, I went and I had, I said, help, hold on. He, he, I got dressed and everything was good. And I don't know how we get to the shoes. I was like, oh, uh, do you have a 14 in shoes? He was like, no, oh, I do have a 14, just not in black. He said, do you need shoes? I said, yes. Do you need socks? I said, yes. Okay. You know, all of that. So I spend money because I don't like to go to church um, and looking raggedy. I think that when you go into the house of God, when you, and I'm not talking about you if you ain't got the clothes. You come, you know, dress presentable. If you don't have, just come on in the doors. But I'm talking about if you've been in church and you've been in church for years, you know the decorum of church. Amen. You know how to dress in church. If you've been there for about 10, 20 years, you already know you can't be coming in there with no booty shorts and no sandals. All right. Amen. So I already know that I, when I come in the house of God, that you come in there looking good. And that's exactly smelling good. So shout out to Vern for uh, Tyrone, <laughs> my mom's boyfriend, for giving me uh, for giving me uh, some cologne. I'm gonna ask him what because that cologne was good. It was amazing. I saw a sister even before she had children. Uh, I remember her. And she we embraced in a hug. She's married now. I had a good time. Shout out to Pastor Kevin Cunningham. I mean, we he, I waved at him way back. It was such an amazing story. And let me tell you, I. I you know, I was preaching and teaching. Uh, I was raised under um, not believing in women preachers. But today, uh, Pastor Kevin Cunningham, Apostle Kevin Cunningham, actually, and he's also a doctor. Uh, he got his doctor's degree. Uh, his wife, Sis Sister Deidre Cunningham, they call her Pastor uh, Deidre Cunningham or mother. And she was preaching. Now, I was like, Ooh, either you're going to walk out or you're going to stay. So I stayed because I wanted to hear what was being her message. What is her message? And, and can I see myself as a man under a woman preaching? And I had an amazing time. And let me tell you, Pastor Deidre Cunningham, she preached the word of God. I mean, she preached about being, you know, being an heir, uh, being a seed of Abraham. And I believe that. I believe that we are heir. I believe that God wants us blessed. And I believe in that, that, that teaching that she was teaching. And it was an amazing type of a, 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 a ministry um, that Transformation Center is doing. Like I said, I used to be a member of the Transformation Center for a little while. Then I went back to Chew Church because I was like, oh my gosh, my family there, like all of my friends and family is at Chew Church, right? And so I said, in my, even to my mother's credit, <laughs> Mama Wiley said, you should stay there. 
It's a great ministry. You shouldn't leave and go back to church because you know how it is. You're not going, you know. So I went over there and I had an amazing time. It took me a while to find the church on my GPS, but we found it and it was just amazing. I mean, it was when I came in the door and shout out to the Transformation Center of Chicago. I mean, the ushers was amazing. Like I'm, I'm telling you, your first introduction in the church, if you have ushers, will be the ushers. And they was like, hello, sir. I filled out a car. I came in the church. I sat down. They, they sat me down. It was just amazing. They said, sir, do you want us to hang up your car? I said, no, ma'am, I'm good. Because, you know, when I got to leave, I got to leave. I, I got to keep my coat with me, is what I'm saying. So I'm up there preaching. And, and the praise team, shout out to his uh, daughters and his other, his other one of his cousins is in the church. You know, they did an amazing job. Like, listen, when you watch the Transformation Center of Chicago live, it don't give, do it justice when you see it in person. Like, you in person. And I see myself back in the church, stumping my feet, clapping my hands, having an amazing time. And it was just awesome. Like I had a good time being uh, in church uh, and it's been like over six years that I've been inside of a church uh, uh, praising God. I ran inside the church for Jacquez Reno, but actually fellowshipping with the saints, it was definitely, uh, definitely good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Ask you, did you like cologne? You said, no, I didn't want. Yeah. I, I like it now because I never experienced it. So if you got some cologne, G. Uh, G O L E D O X. You can send it to my PO box because it smells so good. And now I'm into like cologne. <laughs> I was just into body wash and wearing some secret deodorant. But that cologne does something to you. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead on and wear the cologne. He definitely put it out there. And I said, oh no, sir. I'm, I'm looking like I'm ready to serve a plate. Uh, many people say, oh, you're trying to be like the Nation of Islam. No, my uncle actually joined. Um, the Nation of Islam many, many years ago. And my brothers, I'm sorry, my cousins, uh, they went to school. They went to that Muslim school that they have on the south side of Chicago. So I have that in my blood as well, that Muslim type of blood. I see why I like and love and honor uh, Ms. Farrakhan. But that is not my, I'm not a Muslim. Uh, do I believe what, a lot of things that Ms. Farrakhan, the honorable Ms. Farrakhan preaches and teaches? Absolutely. I'm just not a registered member with the Nation of Islam, but I am a, a Christian, Pentecostal, all the way. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's today. And then today I worked, um, you all going to get to preach. This is what I'm going to show my grandmother tomorrow. All right. This uh, is what I'm going to show my grandmother. But before we get into that, I want to give a special shout out to my producer, uh, stay blessed for uh, attending uh, the Chasing Reality, uh, Chasing Dallas uh, premiere. I'm going to show you some of those pictures, so bear with me. Uh, she was in the building um, today, and she attended, and I said I needed uh, a producer to represent us uh, because, again, we had a prior engagement. I would be in Chicago preparing for my grandmother's 88 uh, birthday, but I but shout out to this producer. Not only did she went, but she also took pictures of the event, and I, I appreciate that. So give me a second here. I'm going to screen share this so you all can see this uh, right now uh, because she actually took pictures of the event, and it just it just ended not about a couple of minutes ago. And here you go. Okay, uh, give me a second. So let me just let y'all see this. So. There we go. That's the first picture there. Uh, that's another picture. Uh, as you see, that's Odario. That's, I believe, you know, there you go. Okay. Uh, that's that's Mark Markel. Uh, that's Markel right there. He's the executive producer of Chasing Dallas. Uh, that's Markel again. That's, uh, you know, Trey Howard. And that's Trey Howard again. So she took some pictures there and I appreciate that. Not only did she go for her own, you know, going there representing, um, she, I mean, just going there just to support, you know, but she represented the show. And I love that, you know, I have producers that, you know, represent. And actually she was on the phone. Um, she called me when we was on station here and she actually get there and she started talking uh, to um, Trey Howard. He said he's ready for the Wiley show. So I love the fact that that sister, you know, did that and represented professionally, representing our show. And that's an honor because, like I said, I can't be in every place. Uh, family do come first. And I appreciate that sister for doing that. OK, now I want to stop that. Now, this is something I do want to share uh, with you guys uh, right now, because this video, uh, shout out to my team, my editor, 
uh, for putting it together. Let's watch this, and I'll be back for my commentary. Hey, grandmother, you are 88 years old. And what I want to say, you have truly been a blessing in my life. I remember I was trying to, I uh, was in high school, and I was in, I was in high school, and you made sure that I woke up, cooked me a hot breakfast. So I want you to celebrate this day, 88 years on we earth, love. and you saved and sanctified people with the Holy Ghost. And you have been an example for me all through my childhood. I have to credit you a lot for not being in games, for not being in prison, and my youth, because you always had me at church. So I want to say happy birthday to you. Enjoy your day. I wish you many, 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 many more birthdays. And I hope and pray that God keep you in health and prosperity and that you can live in your golden years and be extremely blessed. Thank you. I'm your grandson. And on the behalf of the family, I want to say happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs> So that was that. Uh, it could have been longer, uh, but I just wanted to do, do that. And so I love that. I, I, I mean, it was just amazing. It's just so amazing to be, you know, back, you know, in Chicago, you know, home, home, just home, always home. This is my residency. I love it. Um, and just being around my grandma and learning so much from her. Uh, and she's such an amazing uh, woman. And she taught me how to be a believer of God. And so she always been a good representative of Christ. So, and her birthday is actually tomorrow. She was 88 years old. Her birthday is tomorrow. And of course, I got to wake up early, get the apartment cleaned, uh, not the, the house, you know, get it together, um, you know, get the groceries, you know, and the ice cream and cake. I got to get that tomorrow as well. So I have a busy day. So that's what we have to do. So we're going to get into these topics, shall, all right? Okay. And I want to say this, you know, appreciate your grandmothers and your grandfathers while you have them because you only have them for a season. So you want to appreciate that. And so I want to do everything while she's alive. So when that transition happened, I don't want to be one of those type of people in the family. Oh my gosh. You know, you get all this guilt. I should have, could have, would have, you know, do it now. Let your grandmother smell the flowers now. Let her be here now. Let's not get with that. That should have, could have, would have. Let's do it now. So God, you know, you be blessed like that when you treat your elders with respect. And that's something that young folks need to realize because as long as you keep living, I'm 30, 30 more years, I'm going to be 60. Okay. 20 from that, I'll be 80. So you have to make sure that, you know, you uh, put, you know, your grandmothers and support them and honor them, especially those grandmothers that was there, helped raise you, cook you food, bought you clothes, bought you shoes and everything like that. And I appreciate uh, the love of my family. Um, I, I, I'm really good. We are getting along very great. Like we went through the fire and through a lot <laughs> during the past as we get away very well. And like, I also, I took a nap today because I was tired. My nieces, they just kept me up. I was, they wore me out. I'm like, oh my God, I need to rest. So I just said, you know what? I'm not even going to try to go in the room and go to sleep. I'm going to just sleep on this recliner and maybe they won't bother me. They like, bother me at first. And then I was just knocked out. Okay. I was knocked out. And I woke up and that's when I, and I said, oh, well, I got I to gotta prepare for the show. I said, really good because I was tired. I got up uh, because in the end, I said, it was like, I said, and then I told my niece, I said, okay, niece, we, I'm ready for the TikTok. So we, st we did about one or two TikToks. Then I did another TikTok video. And posted it on the YouTube short because I just do talking on my TikTok to post on YouTube because they're, they're not monetizing a TikTok with music. If you're using uh, a, a popular record, it won't be monetized. So I went on and I did a part two 
to uh, women when a man comes to a woman stand up. This time I talked about the duties of a man. And so y'all definitely got to watch that on the YouTube short. All you have to do is when you come to my YouTube channel, it's under the shorts tab. So any, any all the stuff is under the shorts tab. So when you go on the YouTube, it's under the short tab. All right. So let's get into these topics right now. <laughs> let's get into these topics right now. We got a lot that we're going to have. To, not really a lot, you guys. Because like I said, it's been like a slow news day. A lot of big, big stories have not came across my desk. But the City Girls is back. And City Girls, uh, uh, Young Miami wrote this. The City Girls are coming with a lot of exclamation points. And let me give you some context. Tasha K was the type of woman that dragged the City Girls, said they were trash. I mean, said they're breaking up. They're not working together, and et cetera. And I'm assuming that, you know, Young Miami saw that video because they got a lot of views. Uh, and now she's saying that the City Girls are coming back. I believe that, you know, uh, you see Carisha, as, a, as I say, y'all know, as a Young Miami, you know, she don't want, she want to break up from the group because I think like she feel like it's, they ain't making no money like that as being a rap group. Um, she make more money being independent doing Carisha Please. So I can understand why she pretty much don't want to do it anymore. And then also you got JT. She's focused on the man that's cheating on her. Cheating on her left and right. And she giving out that punani to a no good trifling man, even though he's paying all the bills, but he's cheating on her. So eventually she's going to break up with him and all of that. Uh, that that's what I believe was what he was he she go with little Uzi Vert, so little Uzi is putting his Uzi in other people's puts, so that's that relationship gonna end immediately, and then she gonna come crying and all of that type of stuff. So that's just how that goes. So that little Uzi is oozing out in other people's journey, all right. And then what he does uh, with her word on the street is he dissed her in the bedroom and said that she wished that she wasn't so dark, and that's what that's what was said. Under social media, he said she wished that she wasn't so dark. And I, I'm mad at my own business because that's what she said. And also, you got Carisha, please. She hooked up with Diddy, even though Diddy cheated on her, got another woman pregnant, and all, all of that lighter than her. He only using Young Miami as a relationship plant, a relationship uh, to grow his pockets and, and promoted her well to be on Carisha, please. And she understands this, but I think Carisha really thought that Diddy was going to be the husband and really was going to be one of her baby daddies. And obviously, when he when he covered her, he makes sure he put on three condoms. But any other woman, he making sure he don't have a condom. So I just don't I just don't understand that at all. I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, I don't see further with the group. Let's be clear. Uh, City Girls never had a number one hit. City Girls never went. I don't believe they went for their album with platinum. Y'all correct that. Never did so. And then also when made the City Girls weak. They was trashing Nikki. They should have kept trashing her. And then they apologized. That, that's what made me not want to focus with them or pay attention with them. Because as soon as they got caught, you know, dissing Nikki, then they want to go ahead and start kissing her. But no, if you don't like Nicki Minaj, if you feel like Nicki Minaj is trash, if you feel like Nicki Minaj is garbage, then stand on that. Don't get out there and you try to apologize and be like, oh, no, Nikki, I, I apologize. I didn't mean to say I said that when I was in my 20s because you don't mean it. Only reason why they apologize is because Nicki Minaj called them out on it. But they should have kept that that same type of energy. But again, I look at the City Girls as a uh, they're a good group. They just need better. They just need to continue to get great writers. Um, but I don't think JT. Uh, I think she's an amazing artist. Uh, but they do need great songs because if you don't have great songs, they're gonna pass you back. Look at the other girl, Spice. What's that? Spice. Her. She's doing really good. You got Lotto doing really good. You got a lot of artists. Erica Banks not. She's too busy getting fat and no OnlyFans. But I, I appreciate the fact that the City Girls say, hey, we're coming back. And hopefully they can do a, make a great album. But they did release their stuff during the pandemic. That's the worst time to release records is being paying attention to those songs. We look at the news about the pandemic. You know, we look at CNN, MS, MSNBC, and all of that. We wasn't worried about shaking our twats. Because we were too busy in the house. So they just came, they came out with their new music, new albums, and all of that during the pandemic. So it's no way in the world. So now we ain't dealing with the pandemic. Now we are back and the world is open and we outside, outside. Now is the time to come with some great material, some great stuff. And young Miami, uh, you need to make a song. How did it make you feel when Diddy had another woman pregnant? That will make the fans be interested in you. I will never forget when Usher came out with his confessions and he was confessing, he, I guess, him and um, Chili, uh, they broke up and he put it all in his music. And that was one of the highest selling R&B albums of all time. I believe, Paul, right? Did it go diamond? It went diamond. So 
this can potentially help you if you address the elephant in the room. So we're going to see how this is going to play out. And like I said, I did see, I did see JT on on uh, Angie is uh, uh, Martinez, right? Angie Martinez, and she pretty much was saying the city girls are not broken up. We're not going to break up. We we just doing our own thing right now. So let's see. Do you think it's going to be a hit? Obviously, they need a good record. They're going to need some awesome ghost writers. And when they get them awesome ghost writers, then I can see them doing really good. When I tell you them ghost writers got to be on point, and people say, well, Wally, they shouldn't have to have ghost writers because ghost writers, you know, is not for, you know, rappers. And I disagree. Most of the rap that you hear is from somebody that's a ghost writer. Most of the rappers will not admit that, but they most of them have, even Nicki Minaj have a ghost writer. So she don't write all of her records. When you go and tune in and look at the credits of the records, it is always another song. Just like Usher didn't write Confessions, but the record was great. Somebody understood that and they went to the studio and they wrote it. The same thing with the young Miami. When she go and she try to talk about Diddy and all of that, she need an awesome ghost writer that's been hurt, that's been embarrassed, and put it in the music. And Diddy will be okay with it because it will bring and fed up his pockets because most people will be looking at him and most people will go and try to buy his liquor. And yes, Young Miami does have an awesome podcast. Carisha, please, I believe as a black woman, period, not even as a black woman, just a person, period, she got one of the best podcasts out there right now because everybody is tuning in to Carisha, please. She gets the most press and the most, uh, um, you know, reposts on her album. And I appreciate the fact that she comes at with the real questions. Like when she bring guests on, she's she the guests they open up all over the guests open up. Just look at how Didi opened up to her and how uh Kevin Gates opened up to her and how Trina opened up to her. Like we didn't even know that a producer wanted Trina and him to get in the shower in the nude. We learned that from Carisha, please. So I love her. I know a lot of black women don't love her because they don't look like Carisha, please. They don't smell like Carisha, please. And they, they can't attract a billionaire. They too busy attracting Pookie in prison. They went on Pookie to call them for prison. They went on Pookie to get off death row. So they are jealous at the fact that Carisha is out and about and showing love like to her fans and all of that. Because I talk to a lot of sisters and they always speak against Carisha. Always. They're talking against Carisha. All right. So we're going to see how this is going to play out with uh, the City Girls. And let's see how this is going to play out. Now, make sure, press one. If you think the City Girls are going to do a good job, press one. Press two, no. Press one, you think the City Girls are going to do a good job. Press two, no, they're going to flop. Press one, you think they're going to do a good job and make a hit. Press two, they're going to flop. Press one, you think they're going to do a good job. Press two, they're going to flop. Press one, you think they're going to do a good job. Press two, they're going to flop. Press one, you think they're going to do a good job. Press two, they're going to flop. Press one, you think they're going to do a good job. Press two, they're going to flop. Oh, it is a split. Press one, they're going to do a good job. Press two, they're going to flop. It is a split decision. <laughs> It is a split decision here. It is a split decision. <laughs> I'm looking at the comments. It is a split decision. Okay, we're going to see how that's going to play out. All right, so that was that topic right there. Now, let's get into, uh, let's get into this. Uh, lotto, 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 lottery. So she came out with a record, lottery. And when I tell you I enjoy that record, I enjoyed that record lottery. That was an amazing, amazing record. Uh, many of the Nicki Minaj fans is upset that Lotto, uh, Lotto is have took the lottery that Nicki used to call her and made it into a record. They're angry right now. And they thought that, you know, uh, Lotto was going to go away and no longer be relevant and all of that. But let's be clear. Lotto is back and she's back strong. And she came back and not playing no games at all. Lotto is here. And Lotto said, hey, I'm not about to just kiss Nicki Minaj, but that's why I respect Lotto because she stood up to a 40-year-old bully, to a woman that is married to a man that got a register on the list for the rest of his life. That woman said, no, you are Nicki Minaj. 
I'm not about to bow down and get on my knees and, and kiss your butt. I have my own lane. I have my own show. And what she tried to do was, you know, Nikki tried to distract because Nikki didn't get nominated for no Grammys. And she tried to come against, you know, Lotto. And so Lotto was like, hey, I'm going to take this and I'm going to make some music. So, of course, she has some amazing ghostwriters. I don't believe Lotto wrote it herself. I believe somebody wrote it for her. That is fine. Um, Lotto is definitely uh, 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 a good artist. I believe that Lotto is definitely doing her thing. And I love it. 777 all day long. 777 all day long. And we will continue to support Lotto. And I don't like it when Nikki came out and she tried to dis diss female hip hop. And, and she wanted all the females to, you know, uh, be on her side. And she, the type of person, I didn't really see her trying to uplift the females. She always said, y'all this, y'all that. No, sis, all, respect the women. Respect other female hip-hop artists, Nikki, because let's be clear. You dominated for a decade. That's no, longer your, that's no longer your lane anymore, you being by yourself. There are other women, and, gonna, and guess what? There are going to be more women going to be out here in the industry. And they are already more women. So, no, you're not going to be as now. Are you one of the best lyricists out of them all? Yes. All right. But let's be clear. There's other women coming for that spot. I mean, Cardi got bars. Lotto got bars. Uh, that, you know what I'm saying? Akbar, she got bars. So, there's so many other women that are out here that got bars. You're not the only one. And see, the thing is, a lot of these bloggers don't want to call you out like Black Sea Blog while she's paying for private detectives. They don't want to call you out because your fans will su subscribe to the channel and they watch and all of that but in the majority like black sea blog she even dissed Nicki minaj about her husband but now she's singing a different tune because they support her in on her channel by watching and subscribing but let's be clear i'm not the type of guy that's gonna sit here and just kiss your butt it's all it have to make sense right and when nikki did to lotto what's wrong she was coming at her aggressively now nikki is 40 years old She's been on this earth for four decades, and Lotto is in her 20s. You need to respect her on that. And like, even we go back to Megan Thee Stallion, even Nikki tried to throw some stuff at Megan and lie and say that Megan told her to end her pregnancy, and that was no proof or evidence. And then you had Megan come out and defending herself as well. And then Nikki does that because she does it to promote a record. She go away quiet. When she's quiet, she's in the studio. She's working on music. Then she come back on the internet. And she start unnecessary drama to promote her record. The same thing that Cardi said about her promoting the records. Now, we didn't talk about Jason Lee and Remy Ma interview. We're going to talk about that next week. I will be in, in Dallas, so we'll be able to do that. Our studio is still in Dallas, so I'm definitely doing that. And then I'll be back home in Chicago a couple more weeks, like my studio is there. So, uh, but we definitely will be talking about that, you know, next week. Okay. So, Lotto, keep up the good. Now, how many people listen to that song, Lottery? Press one if you listen to lottery. Press two, you didn't listen to lottery. It was good. I mean, I was, hey, I don't know the lyric. Okay. I, I was in there. I was I, I was in there. Like, let, let me see some. Let, let me, let me. I, I was just dancing to it. Press one, you like it. Press two, you didn't like it. All right. Press one, you like it. Press two, you didn't like it. Press one, you like it. Press two, you didn't like it. Okay. Give me a second. Let me see if I can um lottery. Lyrics, give me a second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Okay, it's a lot of tools. Okay. Uh, uh, let me see. Okay, hold on, y'all. I'm about to do something. Let's see if it'll pop up. Okay, here we go. And it's a big lot of ha ha ha, the biggest. All right. If you let, if I let you put your hands all over me, if I let you unwrap all this in my streets, in my sheets, oh, well, let me read it over. Blah, 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 blah. If I let you put your hands all over me, if I let you unwrap all this in the sheets, if I tell you all of my dirty fantasies, you won the lottery, you won the wild only, oh, if I let you take me home with you tonight, if I let you see what I got on my mind, if I tell you, if I tell you all my dirty fantasies, Lotto, you won the lottery. Yeah, you won the lottery. Oh, I need a real boss. Somebody who don't care what the bill costs. Smooth skin, thick thighs. You can feel on. 
If he hit this, then he hit the Mega Million. Play him like a scratch off. Think he's getting lucky. Jackpot, baby. If I ever let you touch me, sit me like wine. I'm going to pop it like bu bubbly. A B this fine, make it hard not to love me. Because this O could change your life alone. He like O when I get on the microphone. These big O double Ds, waist on a P type, juicy like cat ritz if I let him squeeze. Yeah, handcuffs, whipped cream. I'm the girl of your dreams. Boy, you know you hit the lottery. Ching, ching, ching. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> uh, if you let, if I let you put your hands all over me, if I let you unwrap all this in the sheets, if I let all my dirty fantasies, you won the lottery, you won the lottery. Oh, if I let you take me home with you tonight, 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 if I let you see what I got on my mind, my mind, my mind, if I let you... If I tell you all my dirty fantasies, you won the lottery. Yeah, you won the lottery. Ooh, there, baby. For we go there, baby. It's a couple of times you got to know, little baby. I've been that B. So that won't what's mine. Like some J just dropped. N-word waiting in line. You got to work for this. Can't purchase this. Got to prove yourself and show me what your purpose is. Show me that you're really worthy of my services. I keep an N-word on my arm where my purses is. Oh, you looking at the centerfold, Playboy Bunny, want to take me home, bad B from head to toe, trying to fold me up and, and lick it like an envelope. Yeah, all eyes on me. I'm the girl of your dream. Boy, you know you hit the lottery. Cha-ching, cha-ching. If I let you put the hands all over me, if I let you unwrap me all this in the streets, if I let you tell all my dirty fantasies, you won the lottery, you won the lottery. Oh, if I let you take me home with you tonight, 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 if I let you see what I got on my mind, my mind, if I let you see all my dirty fantasies, a lot of you won the lottery. Yeah, you won the lottery. Oh, good, though. If I let you hit this, then you know you hit the lotto, right? So that is the record that was released by Lotto. And we reached out to Lotto. And she said, though, this 40-year-old Nikki ain't going to stop me for going in the studio with my ghostwriters, and I'm going to come back with a record called Lottery. And it was a catchy, catchy record. And if y'all don't like the record, we will drop the link and allow you. Uh, we're going to open up the phone lines. You tell me why you don't like because most of y'all's fans of Nikki Minaj and Nikki can't do no wrong. Y'all can't believe in any other female rapper because Nikki will get upset and block you like she did Black T Blog. And then she cried. And then she used other pictures. And then she brought her back into the fold. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Keep it real with you. Lotto has what it takes to be the new Nicki Minaj. Lotto has what it takes to be the new queen of hip hop. Number one, she got the looks. Number two, she not associated with a, uh, with an R word. Number three, her 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 songs are popping, and she worked with Mariah Carey. So Lotto has what it takes to be the new queen of hip hop. She just need a couple more hot records. She have what it takes to be the new queen of this, the new queen on that panel, on that pedestal, and she will go down in history that was one of the greatest female MCs to ever do it. She have what it takes to do it. I'm going to say it again. She has what it takes to be that new, okay, that new queen to take the crown for Nicki Minaj. And Nicki know that, and that's why Nicki inside of her being, while she was chewing that ice, she decided to attack Lotto because she see Lotto coming up in the game. So what did, what did Nicki do? She decided to go live and started to lie on Lotto. Because anybody that's coming up that's beautiful than her, that look better than her, and more talented than her, you see Nikki trying to diss her. So I definitely see her on the Megan. I definitely see her on the Cardi level. I definitely see her on all these type of in industry levels. She's already there. She's a part of the conversation. That video was the fastest growing, right, Paul? One of the fastest growing videos. Got over 1.6 million within 24 hours. That's what you call a boss. And being around Lotto, yes, because of the talent, the skill set, because of her beauty, you did hit the Lotto once you are associated with Lotto. And so Lotto, 
You have my support, 777 all day. I will continue to support you on my show. We show you love. And if anybody want to debate me about Lotto, we are more than welcome to do it. Okay? So I will continue to show support to you, Lotto. Don't allow the barbs to get under your skin. You keep being great. You keep on being beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Lotto. All right. <laughs> Jay Prince and Charleston White. You guys, this this story has been a lot. Like Charleston White, uh, I don't know where he came from. Many people that I've talked to said the man is a industry plant, and the man is he came out of nowhere that he's definitely an industry plant uh, to make more division in hip hop. And so I'm going to uh, definitely read an article uh, that is out here. And this is on all hip hop. And they said, Charleston White goes nuts, blame Jay Prince and cops and the mayor for canceling a comedy show in Houston. Charleston White claims threats from Jay Prince led to the cancellation of his comedy show, stopped in Houston where he's uh, fuming at cops and the mayor. Charleston White is fuming mad over the cancellation of his appearance in Houston, Texas. And he blamed the local police for warning to his show last night, February the 17th. According to Charleston, the cops refused to provide protection for his Charleston White and Friends comedy tour due to his ongoing feud with Jay Prince of rap a lot mob slash mob ties. Apparently, officials were concerned about the safety of both Charleston um, and his audience. Uh, the polarizing figure knows that Jay Prince is powerful in Houston music scene with a connection that reached far and wide, so he decided to scrap his appearance. It's, uh, this is a quote from Charles White. He said, it's done, been confirmed. James Prince runs Houston. The mayor and the Houston Police Department said they are getting calls that Charles White is going to be speaking at an event. Houston Police Department sound like a bunch of P-words to me, Charles White snapped. Another quote from Charles White said this, quote, I see why Rapper Life runs the, that S word. No, why the, no wonder why mild ties. No wonder why everybody got to check in, y'all. Now I'm checking in with the police department. The police department told me, hey, man, you got a problem with Mr. James Prince? We don't want no problems. The mayor office often call and say, hey, Mr. Charleston, we hear you got a problem with James Prince, man. We scared of him. I swear to God, y'all, I just got the call from Houston mayor office in the gang unit police department in Houston, Texas, they are uh, scarified of rap a lot. During a heated moment, Charleston White paced around his house, still reeling from the constellation of his appearance in Houston. He made his way to his closet where he kept an arsenal of guns. With a fierce expression, Charleston grabbed a couple of them and returned to the camera, declaring that the rap a lot records didn't run a dang thing in Dallas, that he wouldn't be intimidated by anyone, no matter how powerful they were. This is what I was saying, Houston Police Department. Y'all can suck my, okay, two, F Houston, N word, Houston, Texas, N word, F Houston, Texas. I'm spending my own uh, G word money to come down here to talk to your poor A word, dumb A word, M word historian. He's Houston, it okay. F Houston, Charleston White, uh, fume. F Harris County, uh, C word pigs. Y'all, some M word cowards. Man, let me get my God D word gun range. This is what I got for Rap a Lot Records. I got a whole bunch of G word, M word guns from Rap a Lot, man. Houston police, y'all are some P word. Charleston continued. Charleston even called the Houston mayor, Sylvester Turner, a homophobic slur. rap -a -Lot got y'all scared in the mayor's office. Y'all just had an effing mayor down this in Houston, a gay mayor. He's a slaughter. Okay. The latest video was undoubtedly recanted, uh, re, re, um, uh, Ratchet up the tension between Charleston and Jay Prince, who have already been engaged in a bitter feud for some time. The only time that we, uh, the only time will tell what the fallout of this latest episode would be. But for now, Charleston was standing his ground and refusing to back down. And that's what I want to say. First of all, Charleston White, 
you are very, you are walking a very dangerous game. Jay Prince is very connected in Houston and also in Dallas. What you're doing, you're trying to bait him into a beef and it's dangerous. So I'm glad that the mayor of Houston said, no, you cannot come here. We do not, we are not giving you no police protection. You're coming at your own risk. They are already on high alert because of takeoff, because that was international news that a hip, uh, uh, one of the greatest hip hop artists and very popular hip hop artists lost their life in the city of Houston. So no, you're not welcome. Brother, if you're trying to expand to do comedy, you're going to have to calm down your rhetoric and dissing these other rappers and saying these things because you are trailing on a dangerous ground. So brother, stop it. Even though you may have all of those weapons, but that doesn't mean nothing when you're dealing with people, when more people with more weapons than you. So I don't know where you came from. The only time I talked about you is when Tasha exposed you, when you refused to go on Tasha K's show because you want to charge the people $1,000. I don't know where you came from. I don't know if you just in industry plant and you just came here just to cause confusion, to cause drama, uh, so people, record sales could be boosted up and all of these things because you became uh, popular very quickly. But what you're doing is very dangerous because somebody could just come up to you and just delete you. Just that instant. Just because you got a weapon, somebody can have a bigger weapon than you or just have a simple weapon. So you got to be very mindful of that, Charleston White. All right. There's so many other things you could do. Just do comedy. Talk about your childhood. Talk about growing up. But stop trying to make these beef with these rappers because the folks, these channels you're going to, they're not going to protect you against Jay Prince. Jay Prince got a lot of pull in Houston because that's why they called you because they knew that you was going to be wiped out at that event. And Houston was like, mm -mm, not going to happen here. We allow that for uh, takeoff. We're not going to allow that for somebody else and make Houston look bad because they already got a black eye because of takeoff lost his life in the city of Houston. So again, get it together. Now, I'm a huge fan of Jay Prince. Uh, he's been in the uh, music industry. He helped a lot of people put him on in the music industry. He helped fun a lot of people, a lot of talented folks in the music industry. Yes, nobody is perfect, but Jay Prince have done a lot for a lot of people in the Houston music scene. Because I talked to somebody that was from Houston, he said Jay Prince done a lot for a lot of Houston artists. So you got to be very mindful. Do I think that Jay Prince is a registered member of a gang? No. Do I do I believe he's associated with some people in gangs? Absolutely. And would I would it be so uncommon if somebody in that gang or that's in the street gang that wanna you know have a, make a name for themselves? Yes, I do believe that. I do believe that Jay Prince can order a hit on Charleston White. I believe that. Um, and, and and have somebody else to do it and they will take the fall for it. So you gotta be very careful. So I understand he was coming at TI, but you're coming against people that is in the lifestyle of violence. So be careful. Don't prom promote that. And in the scripture, it said power, uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And all you're talking about is death. All you're talking about, that, that, that you got to be careful. Look what happened to Tupac. Look what happened to Biggie. That spirit of death came upon them. So be very mindful of that. Be very mindful of that. And we will continue to keep you all updated on this. And we reached out to Charleston White team. Um, last Sunday, they reached out to me. They he, he's now, because of this, I got an email. He charged $1,500 for a 30-minute interview, about $1,500. Um, and I don't have $1,500 bucks for no interview. So we will continue. We I said, i check back where you owe a dollar and 50 <laughs> $1.50. And 50 cent for interview. So that's what I have to say about Charles White. I mean, I like I said, he is funny. Oh, yes. He is funny. He is a funny guy. But this is not laughable. It is, it's funny to people because when he pulled, I mean, baby, when he pulled out that weapon, that weapon was huge. Okay. And the attachment to the ammunition was long. I even know, but he live in Dallas. I believe he live in Dallas. So in that area, you can have as much firepower you want in Dallas. You don't even have to register your weapon. You don't even have to do, I believe, background check. You don't even need a, a card, like a card, register like a card uh, to carry a, a weapon. So all of these things. So we will see. I mean, the gun was bigger than him. I mean, that weapon was so huge and, and the ammunition was attached. It was like really, really long. And I said, you got to be careful with that. And I said, oh, my gosh, look how big that is. And I'm like, 
Well, but he's playing a dangerous game. If he don't stop, then we're going to be out here saying rest in peace to um, Charleston White. So be very careful, brother. Um, don't start. And then you're trying to travel the country. You're trying to build up your brand. But you can't do that if you're dissing somebody very positive and powerful in the Houston market. And then when you're going to have the show, they're going to be right there. And it's going to all it takes is one person. So be very mindful of that. And uh, we see, again, we reached out to Jay Prince. Um and see if he's available for an interview. And we will, we will see him coming on our show soon if he agree up to it. But we did reach out to both parties, Charleston White, and we also reached out to um, Jay Prince. And so any of them reach back out to us, we will respond, okay? We won't do a flyer because we don't want them to be going on other platforms that claim they don't watch the Wiley show that's in the closet. All they do is watch it and try to take our guests, okay? We'll do it privately. All right. Uh, we won't do no practice. If we try to promote them, somebody, they they end up on another show. You know, the ones that do our only fans is in the closet. We're going to make sure we protect that because we have to. We have to protect. Yes, Paul, we can't be doing a fly. What what the other uh, person reached out? They wanted to fly. We told them no. Unless now I say I don't mind doing a flyer once the interview is taped, then we can put a flyer out because the interview is done. But I'm not putting a flyer out and then you end up on somebody else's show because these folks act like they don't watch the Wiley show, but they watch the Wiley show. They watch it right. They watch it right now. They watching us right now, but act like we don't exist. And I don't watch none of they none of their content at all. Somebody sent they I don't even watch it. Somebody sent me a content all oh, oh, just sent it all in my chat. Didn't even pay attention. No, I was watching Charles and White. I told my team you can send me the video all day long, but I ain't watching. You better in the pre production meeting. You better just give me a recap because I'm not sitting there watching a three hour lot. <clears throat> no, I don't even watch it. Oh, this person they had a whole debate. Not watching it. <laughs> now watch it. You, know, just, you better give me some footnotes because I'm not watching. I'm not giving them a click. You don't want to say my name. You think I'm gonna give you a click of you? No, I ain't give you nothing. <laughs> and I already told my moderators, don't even let. They can't even post no names in the chat. Get rid of them. <laughs> so I've learned from them to say because I remember we was gonna interview MC Shaky, and that's before he went to prison for fraud, and uh, went back to prison for fraud, and uh, he. Uh, was supposed to come on the show and he ended up on a whole nother show never came that's why he in prison right now he in prison right locked up right now in prison <laughs> in prison food right <laughs> but he was supposed to come on our show and have a conversation but now the brother is in prison eating three hots in a cot you know nine six eight nine ten seven eight okay all right i feel bad for that i feel bad for people that was associated with mc shaken uh because they were supposed to be in his house uh, for for club uh, for for bingo and all of that is gone away so they can't even be on bingo because of uh because of mc shaky all right so let's move on i had to talk about that now this topic that we're going to be talking about this oh that face anyway uh it's a, a women on tiktok scamming the youtube fear uh this woman that you see with the red bandana on her head dark-skinned women she said that she is the love child of Aaliyah and R. Kelly. She's the secret love child. Them. She wanted to take a DNA test, all these things. A uh, cloud chaser. Let me tell you why she's a cloud chaser. She haven't filed for a paternity test. She's associated with Jaguar, right? Anytime you associated with a woman that burned up her car and her husband got PTSD hearing voices and he always thinking that he's in war and he's throwing out on his wife and then you got her associated with the uh, carbonation is all a bunch of lies. She ain't no love child or no R. Kelly, no love child of no Aaliyah. All right. She belongs to a whole nother family. And Jaguar Wright is using her for uh, for a come up. And you see these bloggers. It was one particular blogger. Thank you. In the production meeting, he had to apologize. He was part of the scam. But you too, you, you too busy under Jaguar Wright behind that you're no longer uh, objective in your reporting. And then now you got to, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do all that because you all up her, 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 her backside. No, that ain't no R. Kelly and no Aaliyah love child. No, she's just out here scamming the people, getting cash apps, and she's and she's promoting her TikTok. And she got one of the greatest promoters that know how, that know these YouTube streets well. She got Jacqueline Wright, aka Jaguar Wright. And Jaguar Wright is out here promoting this woman. And then eventually she's gonna turn on it and she's gonna wind up having a, a breakdown. And she's gonna be wind up eating her own urine or drinking her own urine, eating her fingernails, eating her own flesh, because she is associated with a person with a spirit. That her mind who is gone, all right, is gone, and so they gonna fall out, and they gonna be out there fighting because then Jabra gonna accuse her of sleeping with her husband. 
That's what's going to happen. She's going to wind up accusing her of sleeping with her husband. It's going to happen. Look what happened with Sola. She went to that barbershop and it was a whole fight, a spirit, because she got a spirit of that schizophrenia. I want that on you, 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 you a whole, you got skin, uh, 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 schizophrenia, whatever they call us, <laughs> and you ain't taking your medicine. I don't want to be going on your show, that spirit, leave out on me, you driving, burning up your car. No. And she using these YouTubers to promote her, to grow their channel. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If that's how you want to grow your channel, then you grow it. You do it. You want to think, do lies? Go and do it, because some of them have to do that. They can't do a show by themselves, so they need Jack Roy Wright. All of her lies, all of her dirt, they need her. So when they get to 100000 they will have to thank Jack Roy Wright. Thank you, Jack, because you are at 100000 When I get to my 100, 100 million, I have to thank myself and my team of people that we sit down and we strategize what we're doing. We got a new team. My God, today we got a new team that we sit and we strategize what topics are we going to talk about. And the growth of the show has been through the roof. And we done it without Jacqueline Wright. Jacqueline Wright. She came, she came on the YouTube show, came on at one time. Then she went on her on her Instagram and she came up, just dissing me on her Instagram, and we still here. And this sister that you see, the dark skinned sister that you see, she only using these people, these YouTube for clicks and views and for cash. And then one YouTuber that's supposed to be smart, you got a hundred thousand, but here you are in the gutter because you can no longer do documentaries no more because you're afraid that YouTuber, that YouTube is not going to allow it because you got strikes for playing other people's content. So now you got to be in the gutter because you use it. You did all of documentaries. That's how you got your name. You didn't get your name just on doing live shows. You got your name because you did documentaries. Most of your views came from documenting other people's stuff. It wasn't original. Your of you delivering content. You have to play clips, news clips, and all that. But you ain't doing that no more. And so now you got to sit there and be associated with a whole who. Somebody that's who. <laughs> I can't do it like this. I ain't at home because I gotta be quiet. A person that ain't well upstairs in her mind. And so now she's associated with this other sister that she ain't well because she thought a lot. All right. So we're going to find her real family. We searching for her real family um, so they can expose that she's doing. And maybe she, her family is telling her to say this for a coin. Oh, I'm talking about her real family, her real blood family. Because she was on TikTok. Anytime you're on TikTok, you're doing that for clout. It was another sister on TikTok saying that she slept uh, with Drake and she went on TikTok. No evidence, no proof. They do that to go viral to get TikTok followers. I can come in here and name a gospel singer and said I had a relationship with a gospel singer just to go viral. It's not hard. And so you're going to see her for a couple of weeks and they're going to dump her like a bad habit, just like they dumped Shaquilla Robinson. You know how to hear Shaquilla Robinson name mentioned before. All these people say, oh, I love Shaquilla Robinson. Just they stopped talking about it. She was no longer relevant. It was just for clicks and views. We recently just got on the phone with the FBI and they told me no comment, but that is still under investigation because I still be calling about Shaquilla Robinson privately. On my, in, my, in my personal life, I called about Shaquilla and I called the embassy uh, out there as well to see what was the update. You know, the same generic answer. They can't give out any information. It is still under investigation. All right. So, but they, they dropped out like a bad habit. So all of these bloggers using that one for clicks and views. They use it for clicks and views. Even you, you even got Mr. Perry. He don't put my name in the title. Why, Mr. Perry? Because you know he can't. He can't battle me. He only battle people that a little, a little bit touch. I'm a little bit touch, but I'm smart and strategic. All right. He only put that name. He don't. He don't. He don't put the name. And Sherelle don't even mention me. She want to put my name in the title, but she not gonna do it because she know you are gonna go toe to toe with a real man. Mm -hmm. She would do with these other people that don't deal with women in the bedroom. But I'm the type of man, I'm a real man. I'm a man's man. So she don't put her name in the title. Neither do her husband at all. We talked about that. He move on because he know you can't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brother Wiley. Not at all. And they out there promoting stuff as well, promoting lies. But when it comes to this R. Kelly and it comes to this uh, Aaliyah secret child, this woman need help. She looks like a slave. Yes, yeah, she does. She looks like a house slave. Look like she just slaving. Uh, in the kitchen, you know, one of them house slaves when you in there cooking chicken. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir, master. The pork chop done then, then, master. Would you like me to cut it for you, sir? She look like one of them type of people. Like, uh, she she not really a house slave. She'll be out in the field. Yeah, she'll be out in the field, pin cop, 
picked, yes, sir. I picked about 300 pounds of cotton, sir. That's how exactly how she looked with that red bandana. And they're like, I don't, if she really was smart, she would audition to be in a slave. Yes, yeah, so I've been out all this, sir. Is there any other reason, sir, that I can go out there and out in the field over yonder to start to drink a cup of water? Actually, look, she really needs to be out there in a slave picture. If they ever do a new YouTube version of Roots, I would put her, she could pay, I don't know if she could, you know, she could play a slave. Okay? Absolutely. I just want to be free. I was just want to be free. I don't want to be on here. My what? You know, just one of those type of people. One of those type of people. All right. Okay. They taking advantage of because she's a little ooh. <laughs> and she out here getting a click and clicking the view. And I know she's Nigerian. I don't want to say that because you know no Nigerians. You gotta watch. But no Nigeria, they will scam you out your draws. So that's what that all attached to. I guarantee her family, you know, they got some heavy ass in. I'm going to just tell you that right now. Tell you that right now. So, no, we didn't jump on this story because, number one, we're doing original content. Um, we're talking about trending news. And if I feel like it's some bull crap, we're going to call it out. And you ain't going to worry about me getting up here and apologize because I know it's a scam. Like, the first thing I would say, um, did you file for a paternity suit for R. Kelly or for you know, for R. Kelly, he's still breathing. You can file in the courts. You didn't do any of that. You're doing this for clout. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do now, you guys, is open up the phone lines because I don't know if y'all want to call in. You guys, I'm so glad I don't pay for this call-in number no more because sometimes y'all call in and sometimes y'all don't. So I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah, because y'all don't be calling in like that. So I'm so glad this is free that y'all can call in too because y'all don't be calling. Y'all call in when y'all feel like it. And I appreciate that because y'all just come for the content, all right? But I'm not going to pay for a call-in number when we get about one, two call-ins. So I pre I'm so glad this producer taught me how to do it for free. I'm so glad. All right. So I'm going to post a um, number on the screen. Y'all already know the number, 972-674-9462. And then, you know, that's how Jaguar, and then Jaguar said, are you promoting your, yes, I'm promoting my cash app. You, you, you on these other shows, you promote your cash app. You know, your husband was asked for cash app to get you out of prison, but you wasn't in prison. You was in a cuckoo house, you know, <laughs> I can't do it like this. I'm at home. I, I can't be as loud. You know, my nieces, they, they see, I can be as loud. So I gotta, yeah, this is, this is, uh, yeah. Oh, look at my cheeks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the number is 972-674-9462. They usually do that four clicks of views. And so you're going to see the story and it's going to go away. Okay. <laughs> you see the story and it's going to go away. All right. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not going to wait, wake up the, the whole house. Okay. The number is 972-674-9462. And that's what I feel like. And so when we were talking about, and also we got Larry Reed content coming I'm working on I'm Not Your Secret, I'm Your Son. That's coming in the month of March. We got Two Men, a Lady. That's coming in the month of March. So we're going to be really, really busy for the month of March. February was a good month. January was a good month. And I appreciate that y'all are here, you know, listening and watching um, the show. Uh, so if you're in the building and you want to call in, that is the number. What is your thoughts uh, about it? I'm going to drop the link uh, as well. If anybody wants to um, hit the link, you're more than welcome to hit the link. Okay. You are more than welcome to hit the link if you want to come on. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yes. Uh, okay. Hey, hello. Welcome to the Wally Show. Hey, Wally. Um, I agree with you. I believe Charleston White is playing a dangerous game with his life, if you ask me. Because everyone keeps saying Jay Prince is no one to play with. So why is Charleston White trying to, you know, I don't know, he got hurt. I don't, I don't know, but I agree with you. He's playing a dangerous game. A very dangerous game. Let's go and back. It is because of Tasha K that we know of Charleston White because I didn't know of him. Oh yeah, I know him before, before Tasha because he been on, he been on these internet streets. Off, ever he been on online, shade room, he been everywhere because he had a whole beef with uh with Ti and everything. And T, I think Ti's son, I believe, yeah. And then Ti called him out, yes, 
even the celebrities calling them out. Okay, okay. But yeah, um, I agree. The police, they don't want any more drama. They don't want any more drama. Yeah, I, think, I, think, I think the way that he, he dissed, dissed that state is bad. Just diss the person and not the whole state. Absolutely. Because now somebody else might um, see him and they rep their state. You know what I'm saying? So he's playing a dangerous game. Um, right. And to Jack, to Jaguar, right, I believe they're all scammers, in my humble opinion. Okay. Um, and the people that's having Jaguar on their platform are also scammers as well, because you can look at this young lady, like, who does she look like? Or Kelly or Aaliyah? None, none of the above. None of the above. It's a scam. Fact. It's a scam that Jaguar set up, Jaguar right set up. I also want to say I love when you say, go on. Yeah. That is so hilarious. <laughs> I love it. So hurry <laughs> and get back to your studio so you can be loud and say, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> love you, Wally. I'm in the bushes. All right. Don't thank worry. you, brother. All right. Thank you, Icon. So again, if you want to call in, because what y'all be calling in once the show is over with, uh, the number is 972-674-9462. And so, yes, I, I came up with that. I can't do it now. <laughs> Woo-hoo. <laughs> I'm not in my house. Um, I'm not in my house, but I can't really do it. He did. You know, so it's definitely something uh, like that. And we were saying, and he stay in the same city as me. Uh, well, where my studio is located in Dallas, where I do my show. And he's there. And um, I would love to reach. But he reached out. He said his team said $1,500. And I don't have $1,500 for no interview. <laughs> and and my producer maybe it won't be best interviewing because he might be trying to threaten people. Then you would get caught up in assault. So you have to be very careful interviewing people that uh, that is definitely going after powerful people in the industry like that. You know, really, really diving into people like dangerous uh, folks. They don't bother Jaguar because they know she's you know touch uh, up there. <laughs> All right. Thank you all so very much for tuning into the Wiley Show. I'm going to give these couple of announcements in here really quickly. Uh, we were nominated for an award. If you all want to vote for us, you can always vote for us. Uh, we will post that link in there as well uh, because we were nominated for YouTuber of the Year. I'm super excited that we were nominated. And so we will be in Georgia on April 11, 2023. Uh, April will be here. Before you know it, next month is March. So April will definitely uh, uh, be here. And that is April 11, 2023. April 11, 2023. April 11, 2023. And if you want to vote for us, please do so. Moderators, if you can drop the link in the comments really quickly, because we got 316 million people watching right now from across the world. And so if you want to call in, you are more than welcome to uh, vote for us and also you can uh, text. If you need me to text you the number, I will text you the number. So give me a second. I will definitely uh, text you uh, the number. Uh, I mean, text you the link to vote for me. But right now, I'm about to post that in here so you all can have it. So give me a second because we are still live. I'm going to post this in here so you all can vote for us because we were nominated for an award and we want to win this award. And I will give you all enough time uh, for that. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. So you just click that, click that right now. Okay, <laughs> click that right now. Okay, it is free to vote, and we only allow uh, it's only will allow people in America to vote. My apologies for people that are across uh, the world that won't be able to vote for us, but we 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 want to win this so. If you're in the bushes, uh, if you have not voted, click that. Uh, also, um, you guys, uh, what else we got to do? We got a lot of shows planned this week, so we will keep you updated on these plans. Uh, Vegas is October the 6th through the 9th, October the 6th through the 9th, 2023. So make sure you all book your rooms and get your rooms and stuff like that. That's October 6th through the 9th. We will be in Las Vegas, okay? So make sure you get your rooms and uh, go there because uh, we will be there. And then next month, we will send you information because we're going to, it's a show with snakes <laughs> they're doing. So we're going to go there. Uh, and also we're going to go to uh, Hale's, Hale's Kitchen. We're going to do the, uh, we also going to do the party bus. 
So we're gonna let you know how much that stuff gonna cost with the party bus and the tickets for one of those shows. And we we will send all the information. We give you enough time to buy it, the ticket. So if you want to attend, but it's gonna be a deadline so we can hurry up and get those tickets. So make sure you keep your money saved so we can send you information as though you want to attend. So yes, but please don't wait to the last minute uh, because we won't be able to get your ticket because the ticket's probably gonna be so expensive. And when it, when when it get close to that day, uh, also the email address is Wiley Show Productions at gmail.com. Again, let's say it again. Wiley Show Productions at gmail.com. All right. And also when you vote, make sure you vote in every category because that is how uh, you know your vote is going to count because you have to vote in every category. It's going to take a minute, 60 seconds to scroll down in every category. We're under the YouTube category. So make sure you vote and it is free to vote. Okay. It is free to vote and you must vote in every category. All right. If you need um, the link sent to your phone directly, we will do that. That is 972-674-9462. That is 972-674-9462. That is 972-674-9462. And guess what? It is free. So how about you just text me right now? We could definitely send the vote and make sure you let your family vote for you uh, as well. All right. So we got another announcement here. Also, if you want to contribute to the to, to the show, all of it will go back into the platform. Uh, we have a cash app. That's dollar sign Marquise Wally 28. Dollar sign Marquise Wally 28 is the cash app. You want to contribute to our platform. You go to Wally Show P.O. Box 701122, Dallas, Texas 75370. Again, that is the Wally Show P.O. Box 701122, Dallas, Texas 75370. And like I said, it is free to do. It is free to, I'm sorry, it's free to call in and everything. But if you send items, it ain't free, you know. <laughs> if you send items and everything, that's free because you got to pay for all the shipping and all that. So if you want to send stuff in there, um, you can definitely do so as well. And for people that love to send me clothes, okay, if you are, you are, you like dress pants and stuff, I wear a size 50 slash 34, 50 slash 34, 50 in the waist, 34 in the length. If you are want to buy me like dress pants, if you want to buy me some dress pants, that is the size. If you want to buy me some dress pants, I will let y'all know the shirts once I take my shirt off and uh, get the size. All right, Twitter at Wiley Show, TikTok at Wiley Show, Snapchat at Wiley Show. We're on all those social media. If you can't find us on any of those entities, you can always text me uh, at the number, okay? You can always text me at 972-674-9462. Now, also, uh, if you want to be notified when I go live, you can just text Wiley, W-I-L-E-Y, to 888-534-4939. Uh, you can text Wiley to 888 888- Five three four four nine three nine. Thank you so very much, little black boy. You're beautiful, little black girl. You enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Always remember that. All right, love y'all. We're gonna do an after show on Station Head. I will see y'all over there for the uh, after show. Thank you again for all the people that came in and voted for me and showed me some support. This was awesome. So we're gonna do the after show on Station Head. Thank you so very much. Tomorrow, I'm going to be busy getting stuff ready for my grandmother's celebration. So we may stream it and we may not. So again, because we already got, we're doing another members only with Brother Don. I will let you all know that. Now, also, we did a clubhouse, you guys. So if y'all want that clubhouse room, that you in real estate, you a wholesaler, you a real estate investor, you want to hear things about real estate. Um, Don is a real estate expert. He's been in real estate for a while. So if you want to contribute, uh, you want to listen to that, he also have an ebook. Uh, he have a free cheat sheet, and he also have an ebook for sale. Um, you can reach out to me in the text, and I will send you that clubhouse room directly. Uh, most of y'all have already texted me, and I sent it to y'all. And y'all also email me about the room. That is 972-674-9462. This, this, this number, you can text me. If you have any stories, any tea on your celebrities, you can always reach out to us at number 972-674-9462. Thank you all so very much. Y'all be blessed, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Thank you. All right, y'all gotta go.